say, hey, this is a public service announcement from Chambers Products. I hope you enjoy. extraordinaire I know you want to be the greatest producer of your time right right well I'm gonna tell you the hidden secret you got to get the Akia MPK 49 MIDI controller it's one of the greatest keyboards out there and I'm gonna tell you why just hold it hold, hold it for a second the Akia MPK 49 has 49 keys large enough for your chords and your beautiful melodies and when you're ready to lay down your pop and jump pattern, you're only fingertips away. It has 12 MPC style jump pads built on the thing. With four pad banks each for a total of 48 pads. Come on, 48 pads? I'm talking about 48 different ways to make you dance. <laughs> With eight full size knobs, eight full size sliders, and the huge LC display allows you to see everything. It has eight backlit switches, all which have three banks. So you do the math. I'm just a multi platinum producer. So let me explain something to you. This is a regular phone. This right here is a smartphone. That's the difference in your regular keyboard and the AQ. It's like comparing oranges to apples or a multi platinum album. The album only sells five records. So go get yours. Go get the AK MPK 49 and be the best you can be. Your multi platinum album is waiting on you. Now let me get out of here. I'm not supposed to tell you this. Remember, it's top secret. Peace. Welcome to the director's cut. The emotions I tried to evoke with this commercial was feelings of a need to have this product. I wanted to evoke feelings of dreaming uh, for, the, for the user or for the, the one watching a commercial. Dreams of success. And if they had this product, if they had the MPK 49 product, they would be very successful. That they could actually produce multi-platinum albums and be this huge, big star. So that's why I use certain words in my audio. Certain words like multi-platinum producer. Certain words like uh, producer extraordinaire. And, and I use visuals, especially at the front of the, front of the commercial, of multi-platinum albums. Because as a producer, that's one of the ways to be successful, selling records. Uh, and, and there's no other, I guess, greater success than CEO record that you wrote or produced uh, hitting a multi-million dollar sales level. So that kind of invokes feelings of dreaming, invo invoking feelings of success for the com uh, commercial watcher, for the viewer, for the customer. So the MPK 49 was my product. Uh, kinesthetically, uh, I appeal to those type of learners by having certain photos with people actually touching the product and using the product. Also, uh, kinesthetically, I kind of gave people a relatable topic that they can relate to, like, like comparing oranges to apples or a uh, uh, um, modern phone or an uh, older phone, older flip phone to, uh, you know, your, your droids or your, your smartphones today. So by having the MPK 49 uh, keyboard, it's like having the, the most, the greatest phone right now, the greatest smartphone. Rather than you having just a regular keyboard, it's like having your older older model cell phones that only have a little little features, whereas this MPK 49 has multiple features. And so by showing using audio, my audio uh, in these commercials explain the features. So to those, it, this commercial appeal to those who love, who who listen, and who learn auditorily. 
because they heard my voice explaining the reason why they need to get this product. Uh, visual learners learned from this because they saw plenty of pictures that displayed to them what this product looked like, what this keyboard looked like, what this MIDI controller looked like. And so through me, throughout this commercial, you see several pictures, a couple of pictures of, of the product so that the customer, so that the user, so that the watcher or the viewer of the commercial would know what the product looked like. So overall, I touch base on every every one of those uh, multimodal learning styles. And I think through this commercial, probably can brush up the, the graphics, the design in a little bit, but it was simple. It was to the point. Um, and so I think I did appeal to those three multimodal learning styles. Hope you enjoyed.